So concussions in football, uh, in all contact sports, have come into greater focus in recent years. Um, how do you see concussions and head injuries affect the game when you played? What was that like? Well, I was a guy who, who was concussed a number of times. I think I had uh, five or six concussions wow. during my uh, NFL career. So we're not even backdating the Pop Warner College uh, and things like that. That's just at the NFL level. level. And, you know, I think as you get older, you, you, you realize what those concussions did to you. Um, but I think the NFL has done a, done, a, done a pretty decent job of uh, forming a player safety committee panel, which uh, I am a part of. It's, it's run by former players who, who govern it and try to make it safer. Um, but when you're talking about guys who are so fast and so strong and can run so fast, if you take two cars together and you run them head on, that's the type of power that right. you're getting. I mean, you're getting fast, powerful guys trying to make a tackle. And when those two heads come together, that's when the concussion happens. And, and you just have to find a, the NFL's targeted going back to the basics. So you kind of have to go in and reteach guys how to tackle because the art of tackling has obviously been lost over the years because right. now guys are leading with their head and causing long-term damage in their own lives in years to come. So I think just reform, formulating how to tackle right. will help guys a bunch and not lead with their head would diminish uh, a number of concussions, I believe. Makes sense. Um, as teams, players, and like you said, you're on the committee, the uh, safety committee, and officials try to make the game safer to play. What solutions do you see are working now, like solutions they have? What can younger players, high school or college, do to protect themselves moving forward? Well, I think one of the rules that I do like is when a guy has to leave a game for a concussion, he gets taken in immediately yeah. and diagnosed, and uh, he's kind of put on a waiver wire for, for, act, for being active the following week. So that's a precautionary measure that I don't think existed uh, a number of years ago. But, uh, you know, guys just have to protect one another. This is our game. We create what we want in our game, and, and we have to create each other, and, I mean, protect one another. Right. And, 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 and the game's going to get better. This is just at the beginning stage. Research is still being put together. There are a number of different helmet makers out there. So there's a lot of different variables that you have to weigh before we can really bank on an absolute resolution. We can just do things to continue to protect the players and protect the integrity of the football game. Excellent. Well, thanks uh, for your insights, Antonio. Good luck on the Players Committee. Thank the you. Committee.